Uh, well, the position is that we have just under 33,000 COVID positive inpatients in hospitals across England. And we've been at about that number for the last fortnight. As a reminder, that's obviously a very sharp acceleration since Christmas. Uh, we had around 18,000 positive coronavirus patients in hospital at Christmas time. And although we're beginning to see um, new admissions beginning to uh, turn down slightly, the beds occupied that are decreasing slightly in London are nevertheless being offset by increases in the Midlands, for example. So overall, we're right now sort of about plateaued at about 33,000 COVID positive inpatients, which is an incredibly high number and very, very serious. And when you look at the critical care position, um, again, we've got over 4,000 uh, patients uh, in critical care um, and about three quarters of our critical care patients are there for uh, COVID related reasons. You do see the differential impact of a high coronavirus um, number of patients in particular parts of the country. And so just to put that in context, in London, the southeast and the east of England, at the moment for every one coronavirus patient we're looking after in hospital, we're looking after two non-coronavirus patients. Whereas in the northeast and Yorkshire, the southwest regions where coronavirus has been more under control, that instead is a ratio of more like one coronavirus patient to three non-coronavirus patients or four non-coronavirus patients. So the single biggest thing we can do to make sure that the full range of services can continue to be provided is to get the infection rate down and hence the COVID hospitalizations.